This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now back at Elbilmec and Valdemar. <laughs> and I also have uh, Marcus in the background there. But uh, yes, so you see, Marcus has bought this BMW i3. This is the 120 amp hour. Uh, Valdemar, do you prefer amp hour or kilowatt hour? Kilowatt hour. <laughs> yes, yes, you see, he's yeah. the boss. <laughs> but yeah, it's the 100, no, it's the, it's the 44 kilowatt hour uh, i3. And uh, I, I probably Musk has probably got a good price on it, and uh, you're gonna. It was the cheapest uh, in Norway with the big battery. Wow! Yeah. So it, I mean, when I saw the ad, he sent me the link. I thought it was the 22 kilowatt hour. But it turns out it's a 44 kilowatt hour. So, but it needs a little bit of servicing, <coughs> and that's why we are here. And also, I suppose the inside looks freaking nasty. So you gonna see that one also. But okay, uh, yeah, what do we do now first, Valamai? Um, I think that we will take a look around the um, suspension and, and see if uh, Marcus done uh, a good job. Um, Bye. <laughs> All right, so the, to start the weakest point on the each way is also always um, uh, um, like a motor um, bracket or motor festa. Mm. It's called engine support. On this side looks, uh, looks fine. What I mentioned that uh, here is uh, I think that uh, uh, shock absorber uh, protection or it's uh, broken or it's not in the... It's supposed right to be right. further up, right? Yeah. So schmutz can enter there? Yes. Uh oh. No, no it's supposed to be like this, ish. No, I think it should go all the way up, but... Uh, is this a common I3 problem? Mm, yeah, not... Uh, not not on every car, yes. Okay, uh, Marcus told me that there was a woman who owned this car uh, since it was new, and she probably didn't... Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna discriminate anyone, but, uh, you know, car stuff tends to be uh, guys doing stuff. Women, they tend to, based on statistics, they tend to just buy the car and drive it and don't care about maintenance. So yeah, I hope I don't get too much hate comments now. <laughs> but if you notice that uh, in the in the workshop there's only guys working here. Well, actually, actually there's one uh, lady also. Yeah, I forgot. But she's not in the workshop. No. Uh, so. Uh, oh shit! That, that side also. That side also. Um, the discs, um, I don't know, or they are just wet, or they Is this one host? at least wants to be uh, um, asking for service actually. I get a good, good shot of it. It's always hard for that. If you don't shine it there, maybe. Yeah, there, there, there. now we see the natural light seems to be better. Because there seems to be some surface rust on the uh, yeah. disc. You know, this is rear wheel drive. What are you looking for? What are you feeling for now? What I'm just trying to feel if there is some uh, loose in the suspension. Nothing loose, right? Not for now. No, you, you are touching German quality now, German engineering. I feel that. I smell <laughs> it. <laughs> so, look, can, can you twist it here? I'm just going to show you how narrow these bicycle tires are. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's that again? What was the width again? Uh, 155. I've seen some of the Porsche rims, they are 305, they are almost twice as wide. Yeah, the tires are, um, uh, it's still like uh, not under the uh, limits, but... Uh, okay, so it's barely it legal then. Barely legal, but uh, I, I would recommend to, to, to change them. At least uh, two in the front, in the rear looks uh, better. Okay, Nuken Hakobrit R3, yeah. So it's R5 now, nowadays that people go for. So the, the shock absorber protection here is also... Oh shit, that one also! Uh, broken. Damn! It's what? not critical, but it could be nice to have them fixed. What do you call it in uh, English? Uh, Fjernbeinslager? Oh, I have no top idea. <laughs> Marcus? Uh, is it some top mount uh, bearing or? Yeah, it looks like top it. Top mount bearing, okay. Some, some, yeah. Right. So the B, uh, i3 has uh, problems uh, with those guys on the top. Um, on this car, it looks to be uh, fine. I don't feel any um, damage. 
There was something here, right? Or is this a fender bender? Yeah. How fender. do you pop it back? Uh, we need maybe to ask Gina with the, to come with the nails. <laughs> okay. There are a few uh, curb brushes, but that's... Uh, yeah. Let me see. On this side... Uh, oh, oh that's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, it should, should be supposed to look like that. But, but is this un under warranty? Uh, 123,000? I don't believe so. But, but uh, maybe the lady should have had some guarantee outlets, you know, uh, like, a, like a test before the warranty will run out just to get stuff done on the warranty. I think that the, the all pro producers have different rules, so I'm not sure if it's covered by warranty. Oh, okay. Tesla would uh, cover it, I think. The yeah. only thing that they don't cover is uh, brake discs. Are you, yes. are you saying that Tesla service is better than BMW? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't feel any play here okay. either. No slack there. No slack there. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. So it seems like uh, uh, Moschus was lucky with this car then. Getting a good, uh, good price and also good condition. It's not uh, as bad as uh, Millennium Falcon. Yeah. I'm uh, not on the pl platform uh, now, so I cannot uh, do the very good uh, check on the suspension. So I cannot check the stabilizers. But uh, there looks uh, quite uh, in good shape. So I think it's not so bad. We can take the car down and look on the service uh, history. Okay, I need to show you guys the, the interior. So we are in uh, service uh, history. It looks like the car was uh, serviced first time in 2019. We're after seven kilometers. After seven, but I think maybe it was delivery, delivery service. Okay. And the next time is in 2021 at 67,000 kilometers almost. Well, that's uh, okay. So brake fluid should be changed in 2015. Wow, no, 25, 20, wow, first. Uh, oh, 25. So. Wow. Okay, well, it seems like uh, service wise, this is good. Yeah, they're also 25. Hmm. Well, but look, look at the tiny screen. I mean, uh, when I borrow press cars, they usually have the big screen, it's beefed up. This one is quite stripped down. That's also one of the reasons why it's uh, uh, cheap. But look, look, look how small the screen is. Compared, do you have a big phone? <laughs> what am I, what, how, look at that. It's like a, what, what, what phone is this? Samsung uh, Galaxy 23. <laughs> <laughs> so, the screen. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. So, what is. No, it's not touchscreen. I forgot they don't have that kind of alien technology. <laughs> uh, you have the IE drive here. Oh, yeah. Well, look at. Hold. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the heck is this nasty shit? What? Uh -huh. What is that? Don't put your finger there. But is that some, some kind of <laughs> food? Nuts? Uh, okay. Um, and the seats looks like it was never washed before. Uh, especially on that side, we had to look on the on the Valdemar side. So, see here. So, um, if we come on this side here, wow, that looks nasty. Oh, wait, dog here? Wait, Marcus, do you have dogs? No. Why do we have dog here? Here, maybe the lady had dogs. Yeah, that could be it. Now, why is it beeping like a freaking leaf? Wait, maybe the door is open. It's a, it's a hamster. Yeah, it's a freaking hamster. Wait, Marcus, did you, did you buy this car because you want me to drive it? Or are you gonna sell it? No, we're going to do some tests and I think you really look forward to drive 1,000 kilometer. Oh. Or, uh, uh, you know the Yailo, Yailo test with, uh, with this city car. This is uh, it's like a nervous, uh, no, actually, I I want the, the first generation i i three. Yeah, okay. that's the real struggle. Yeah. This one is too easy. Yeah, the, <laughs> but we could take a race, and I will take also i three. But then I will take the hybrid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, well, now we've done a quick inspection. Mm. So um, we will have some follow ups, and then you will pimp up uh, uh, the car. Uh, there was one thing here. If you can come over here. Uh, well, because you, you mentioned that, uh, uh, yeah, this one here was got, starting to tear off. Yeah, it's... Uh, Is that a sticker? Yeah, it's just like a folie. But from the factory, from, from München? Yeah, so it's uh, nicht gut. Well, so, oh, you just take it off? 
Yeah, like this, so... Yeah, but what we found it might be that the car is still in warranty. Oh, so maybe you can uh, show oh, it, it to it back, BMW. It <laughs> uh, but uh, we hope that BMW is a little bit better than Tesla on the warranty cases. Hmm. Okay. Well, so you would just tear off the. Well, so if you tear cut this on, it'll come become black. Uh, is it all the way? Oh, all the way here also. Wow! I never noticed that. Why would they put some cheap sticker on it to make the car look cool? Yeah. Oh, there's oh there's a light in the in the dashboard also. But the charge port is on the right side, but it's the wrong side. And what am I have to ask you? Which side is the right side for the charge port? One more time. Uh, charge port, should it be on the, on the left side or the right side of the car? Uh, left side? Yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, in front? Front? <laughs> no, it's not at all, not front. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so uh, I also heard that uh, Mashkus, uh, you are allergic to chrome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the worst car. Where do we have chrome here? Here, here we have the... You don't touch it, you're gonna get rashes. Chrome <laughs> rash. Also, you're gonna chrome delete it. And we also have like the kidneys. The oh, the, oh, this is also... You, what, are you gonna black it out? Yeah, we need that. <laughs> okay. And also dark... Tint, tint the window. This is how uh, Marcus uh, makes his money. He <laughs> buys cheap uh, uh, EVs and then he pimps them up and sells them for a lot more. <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure if people want to buy or um, pay for these extra small things, but I'm, I think they look cool and I hope someone will pay a little bit extra for the small details that I put in the work. Well, but how old is this car, by the way? It's uh, September 2019, so it's... Um, Four years now. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? I want to do a degradation test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do that. A degradation test. See how it does the whole hell up. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's had um, almost 155,000 kilometers. So it's a uh, uh, previous owner has driven a lot of kilometers on this. What we. Ben, I was thinking this was going to be a city car. But in Norway, lots of people use it to communicate with. Yeah. Cool. Um, but uh, so, yeah, um, I definitely need to do a, a degradation test. Maybe if you guys have some other ideas, uh, not crazy ideas, I'm not going to go to North Cape with this, you know, no, no, but uh, uh, we can also do some tests. But after you have uh, uh, disinfected the whole car and cleaned it and done the touch, then I can try it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sounds cool. And of course, uh, Marcus, you have other plans also, other projects upcoming. Uh, the Ionic, maybe some e golf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the Ionic. At, uh, I don't like the Ionic because it don't have the app for the winter warming. Yeah, and, true. Uh, but I know uh, you have like uh, some crush on the Ionic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Ionic Bjorn. <laughs> yeah, and also my followers. I have to ask you guys, huh? Which one would you, if if we had to choose one car, if Marcus would buy me a Christmas present, I mean. I'm not, own, I'm not gonna own the car, you own the car. Uh, but a car I could borrow for, let's say, six months. Would it be Ionic? Would it be uh, E-Golf, Soul, or a BMW i3? You know, which one would you want me to request? Yeah. Or, oh, Highland. <gasps> oh, oh shit, shit. Estimated delivery, oh, damn. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, uh, probably this doesn't matter. People, oh, don't show the, uh, the uh, reservation number. You, you're gonna hack the car, yeah, okay. Okay, that one is coming also. Wait, this, this, you know, the Highland has high priority because I might have some other press cars during that time, some, some Neo or some stuff. So then I have to say, uh, I have to tell Neo that, uh, sorry, um, some, something else uh, came up, yeah. Hi, Lam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hope they don't watch this video. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's it. Now you guys see the beginning of the i3 and there will be more episodes coming up. So that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.